Chaos Control! Hello everyone, my name is Jordan the Hedgehog and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories! So, last time, we had just uh, dueled a few of the opponents uh, of like Bakua, Shadi, uh, Bandit Keith, just to name a few. But uh, here, I am here again at the password on the uh, main menu screen and I just wish to acquire one specific card. Oh wait, no. So, the password is 014358851. And that'll give me Dragon Treasure. Nice. I had to waste about 800 star chips just to acquire that card. Because, as you could tell, I've been through the grindstone once again, like I did, like I said that in uh, episode 3. The only reason I wished to obtain uh, Dragon Treasure was because... What do you want to do? Uh, well, leave the shop. Oh wait, no, 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 save! Save! Oh, because I just got Dragon Treasure, that's why. Right. Yeah, the reason why I wanted Dragon Treasure is because... Uh... I've read that the duels from here on get a little bit more harder. Quarter final match, Yugi vs Pegasus. Well, well, Yugi boy, you've come a long way. But now it's time to lose. <laughs> I've always admired Maximilian Pegasus. He's just got that amazing, authentic voice. Okay, what do I want to get rid of for Dragon Treasure? I should have at least... Let's see, what do I have that I could get rid of? Um, Trial of Nightmares. I don't need that thing. Now we're gonna have to obtain Maximilian Pegasus's eye! Oh well... In more precise, the Millennium Eye. Okay, let's see. We should start off with the Millennium Shield. No telling what monsters he's gonna throw out on his first turn. Also, for those of you who don't know about Maximilian Pegasus, he's a very unique uh, fonder of Toon Monsters, specifically. If you haven't seen the show... Oh wait, no, 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 no. Give it a this one. I want to keep Silver Fang. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, Pegasus tends to dabble in uh, Toon Monsters. Uh, Toon Monsters like uh, Toon Mermaid, or like that, or like the Wii U, Wii U Ran, or whatever it's called. Whatever it's called. Bickery Box, Dark Rabbit, I mean even a Toon Summon Skull and Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon. Another monster in defense mode, huh? Wait, what can I summon? I guess this is the only thing that's strong in my hand. Uh, Jupiter. Togex. It's a good thing I attacked with my flame Cerberus. Oh no, wait, I'm sorry. Cerebrus, because apparently people can't spell. <laughs> yes, I'm pointing that out. People apparently can't spell Cerberus properly. Yamadron. Interesting monster, to say the least. Saturn. Okay, no Guardian Star. Uh, 
Okay, we got Dragon Treasure. Now, the only thing we need left is to uh, acquire a a dragon monster so I can fuse with one of my uh, electric monsters that I have in my hand. But then again, this duel's almost over. My opponent has 3,900 life points. So the next turn, I'll, I'll have won it without uh, the help of Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Oh, speak of the devil, we got Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Sweet. You know what, let's let Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon finish the job. Go ahead, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. And with that, we won the duel. Got a Komori Dragon. Hmm. That could come in handy. Defeat can be bitter. Yes, it can, Pegasus. Especially when you're gonna lose that Millennium Eye. Oh dear. That's mine now. I don't believe it. My Millennium Eye. One more do, Yugi, and then it's the final battle. What do you want to do? Uh... Save. Because we just defeated Pegasus. Huh. I heard that Pegasus was supposed to be a little bit harder than that. Maybe I just got lucky. Uh, either way. Semi-final match. Yugi versus Isis. Her name's not Isis, it's freaking Ishizu! It's Ishizu Ishtar! I Isis is the freaking goddess! So whatever, who cares? It's my pleasure to face you in battle, Yuki. Yeah, you got quite the stern look on your, on your face. But only one will walk away victorious. Me! <laughs> As I checked, Ishizu is not as, uh... Intimidating in the, uh... Anime. I don't remember she's a being so like cross. Uh, there's got to be one monster that I can remove just to put in Komori Dragon. The more dragons I have in my deck, the better my chances I could fuse it with like a my Time Wizard or a or a Thunder Monster. Oh wait, but then again, then again, Komori Dragon is. Oh wait, wait, I know which... I know what to get rid of. Where is that dragon monster? That... Oh uh, yeah, that weak pathetic dragon monster. There we go. Okay. Not the best hand to start with. At least I could make Dark Witch. Um, we'll go with the Sun. Oh wait, maybe I should have put her in defense mode, damn it. Yep, should have put her in defense mode. Oh! An Aqua Dragon! Yo! Uh, oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh wait, hold on. Just to be on the safe side. Since I haven't uh, uh, tested uh, Komori Dragon to fuse with that little monster, I don't want to waste a good twin-headed thunder dragon. I need my TWHT, I mean HD. 
short for Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, for those, of you, for those of you who didn't catch on. Uh, this, uh, Dark Elf, or... Nah, we'll play, we'll play the Field Spell, Mountain. With this, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon gains 500 extra attack points. And yes, I know uh, THTD isn't uh, isn't exactly a dragon monster. It's a thunder monster, which means uh, it shouldn't really m make up with uh, what's the word with dragon treasure. But hey, I mean Yu-Gi-Oh games back in the day. Who who even listened to the rules? Nice, 3300 points of life point damage. That has gotta hurt. <laughs> A roaring ocean snake. Uh, I guess I'll summon a mechanical chaser. Oh wait, no. I'll just have to put it in defense mode for now. Sweet, we can get another flame Cerberus onto the field. Oh, okay, um, let's not attack with Flame Cerberus. It's a good thing I didn't, because it was Catapult Turtle. Mechanical Chaser, attack! Her life points directly. Now, Flame Cerberus, finish the job! Psychic Kappa. Yeah, C rank, not the best. At least I got two star chips. Better than nothing, I guess. How how could I lose? Jeez, look at that face. Now the Millennium Necklace is mine as well. What? My Millennium Necklace? It's being drawn into a card. You made it to the final! I'm rooting for you! What do you want to do? Uh, save. That Psychic Kappa monster is not going to be of much use to me. Well, this is it! Our finalists are the amazing Kaiba! And the undefeated Yugi! I thought I might be facing you, Yugi. My Millennium Ward is the final item. Wait, 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 wait! Whoa, whoa, time out! Last I checked, Kaiba does not believe in this hocus pocus magic stuff. Where's Marek? He should be the one holding that thing. But the Ward whispers to me that I must defeat you. Yugi, prepare yourself! Okay, this is going to be one of the hardest duels because this is none other than Seto Kaiba himself. And as of course, the only reason why I got a dragon treasure is because I wanted my twin-headed thunder dragon to be stronger than his blue eyes white dragons. Hold on. Oh my gosh, that is just amazing soundtrack, that is. Wait, did he play a monster 
Oh, okay. Oh, no! I think I know what that is! That has to be the Blue Eyes White Dragon, it has to be! Yeah, I think I'll just play this monster in defense mode for now. Ugh. This isn't good. If that's the Blue Eyes White Dragon on his first turn... Oh, I knew it! I knew it was the Blue Eyes White Dragon! Oh. Do I tempt fate and fuse my Kamoi Dragon and uh, this little critter to make my Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, but oh, no, 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 wait, that would be a bad idea. Because Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon wouldn't be strong enough against the Blue-Eyes White Dragon. I need to see what else he will try. If he summons another monster, then that's fine. Because I can just play Dark Hole on my next turn. A monster in defense mode? Huh. Let him- let's see what he does. Moon. Moon. Okay, think Jordan, think. Think very carefully. If we are going to beat these blue eyes by dragons, we gotta be smart. Okay, so we got Moon, Uranus, and... A blue eyes white dragon. That's probably either a Millennium Shield or a Labyrinth Roar. Because uh, when I versed Bakura, it used the, the Labyrinth Roar or Millennium Shield how had the U had the Uranus symbol. Three monsters in defense mode, and he still has the only still has only one blue eyes white dragon on the field. Does he have two monsters that he can attack with now? No! Four monsters in defense mode! The only thing that he's got attacking for him is his blue eyes white dragon! Ugh. What's it gonna make? Twin-headed thunder dragon, okay. Fine by me. Alright, I think this is the point where I should use my, uh, dark hole. But then again, I just want to test out if he would summon another monster. It's a gutsy move. What will he do now? Will he play a face down card? Yes, good. He played a face down card. Alright, now is the time to activate Dark Hole. All five of his monsters and those two face downs are gone. Now, what's he gonna bring out? Uh oh. Three more cards. Ouch. A Sea King Dragon. I wasn't expecting that. 
Okay, now Okay, now for the moment of truth. Damn it! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh! Sweet! Perfect, I just got the white guardian star. Okay. Ah. I still have another thunder monster. As long as he doesn't summon anything more than 2100 attack points, then we're good. Okay. Thank goodness. That almost scared me there for a second. See, that's what I should have done before placing this monster face down. Face uh, up on the field. I'm probably better off putting as Pluto, because if he summons another blue eyes white dragon, he would get he would get the Guardian Star advantage. Ah, uh, that's not good. That's either a Millennium Shield or a Labyrinth Wall. Hmm. I need my dragon treasure immediately. It's the only way my twin-headed thunder dragon will stand a chance against his blue-eyes white dragon. He's still got two more in his deck. That's a fact. With 22 cards remaining. Ugh. I do not like the odds. Every card he draws gets him one step closer to drawing that thing. The crush card! No! Oh no! The Millennium Shield. This is my last line of defense. Mm. I have to set it to that. This card will buy me some time. It'll keep any of his blue eyes white dragons at bay though. Practical. I still have a few, I still have another thunder monster in my deck. If I can draw it, then so help me. Not another crush card! Ugh! This fake trap won't be of much use. What's he created? The Crimson Sunbird. It's defense? 1800. Uh, Mercury, yeah. Uh, Kaiba's really pushing it towards me. Damn it! I was hoping he wouldn't have attacked. Ugh. Let me just place this face down in defense for now. Guilty of the D Knight. Sweet. He, he fell for it. That's gonna cost him some life points. Invisible wire! Sweet. 
Thank goodness for this trap card. Now, if he tries attack me, attacking me with any monster weaker than 2,000 attack points, he'll live to regret it. Yes! Cyber Source was weaker than 2,000 attack points. Huh, this is where I can make a comeback now. And he's... he's filled! He's wide open for a direct attack! Pluto! Crawling Dragon number 2, attack! Now, Mystical Sand, attack! And the final attack! Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon, finish the job! Yes! Oh, thank goodness for the heart of the cards! Haha! <laughs> Sagi the Dark Clown. That's not a bad monster, I must say. This cannot be me defeated. What the light so bright? My Millennium Item, drawn into a card? I mean, into a card? I now have all the cards with the Millennium Items. That's right, all seven Millennium Items. Jordan, is this what you wanted? Jordan, you've done it. Now you can go back to your own world. You have that boy to thank you for this. Yugi, if I may be so bold, I believe the boy represents what you are to be. Now, with the Millennium Items pulling at each other over time, the portal to our world can be opened. Hai Shin now has six of the Millennium Items and rules over all expansive realm. Over an expansive realm. Using his items, he has managed to unleash a portion of the powers of darkness. He has placed each item in temples located at each conquered area to protect his holdings. Prince Jordan, you must retrieve all the Millennium Items and seal them away once and for all. The locations of the temples containing the Millennium Items can be found in the ruins. My time has come. I have done all that I can do. My flesh is no more. These will be my last words to you, Jordan. The rest is up to you. May success be yours. Simon! Thank you for your brave... For your bravery. Made it back. This looks like the ruins of, the, of a temple. There's nobody here. Shrine of Glory. Yep, nobody there, of course. What else have we got? We got the King's Valley. Huh, Metropolis, a Shrine of Glory, and the King's Valley. This must be our uh, hub world. Old card shop, old dual ground. Huh. Let's go to the old card shop. This place has become nothing more than just a... Everything's destroyed. There's nobody around. Yeah, this place is... Turned to, turned to ash. Old dual ground. 
Nobody's here. It looks abandoned. Hey, Jordan! Wow, you're alive! I never dreamed that I'd see you again, Jordan. I still can't believe it. You know, I was really surprised when I first learned that you were actually a prince. It's good to see you. I never dreamed that you'd manage to get away. Jordan, this place has changed since you disappeared. It's a sad situation, but the duel, but the duels still go on at a near at a secret location nearby. Come on, I'll take you there. Let's go. Sure thing, Joey. I mean, Jono. <laughs> I keep getting mixed up. This is back in ancient Egypt. Here you go. This is where we set up our new dueling grounds. Jordan, the mage has spent days trying to find out where you might have run off to. When we said we had no idea, they destroyed our old duel grounds. That's why me and the card shop owner moved the dueling grounds down here. Jordan, you're alive! If it isn't Tayana... What'd you expect? Jordan isn't dumb enough to be caught. Yeah, like someone here. You know, it's a miracle that you managed to elude them. Yeah, those guys have taken over the entire kingdom. They do as they please, control everything. They wield some kind of strange magic. Nobody can stand up to him. The way things are going, we'll have to live down here for the rest of our lives. Jordan. Feel like dueling? It beats moping around just worrying about things. Uh, I'm gonna have to decline right now, for now, jo Jono. Okay, maybe next time. The old man runs his card shop down here. Jump in when you got the chance. See you around. Okay. Uh, hiding card shop. <laughs> I don't know why it's called the hidden card shop instead. Haven't seen you a while. As you can see, I'm still around. Uh, card shop. I want to save first. And, yep. Okay, save complete. Now, uh, let's leave the shop. Okay, Simon told us to go to somewhere. Not the Shrine of Glory, because that's where we came from. Uh, the King's Valley. Yeah, that's where Simon was pointing us to. Who's that? None may enter the Valley of the Kings. Leave. My... My Prince! You're alive! I am saddened. For generations, my family has guarded this valley. Please rest assured that I've kept Hai Shen out of the valley, my Prince. I'm sorry about what happened to the Pharaoh and the Queen. The Vaya ones have taken over this land. But now, now that you're alive, there is hope once again for everybody. Go to parents' tomb. Wait! Haishin! Haishin killed my parents! That bastard mage! No! Go to forbidden ruins? Or go to the parents' tomb? Yeah, I want to go visit my parents' tomb. The remains of the Pharaoh and the Queen are not here. I'm sorry to say that Haishin wouldn't allow it. Is there anything else you want? Damn it, that bastard Haishin! Great, now I'll, now I'll never know where my parents are buried. I guess we have no choice but to go to the Forbidden Ruins. That's where we can learn what uh, Simon told us about. The Forbidden Ruins? Simon Muin said it was here. I'm sorry, but I've never seen such a place. There are so many tombs for royalty. 
Nobody knows which tunnel leads to where. If there's a forbidden tomb, I don't know where it is. My apologies, good prince. Anything else, my prince? I guess we'll just have to leave this place for now. If you require my services, you can always find me here. So much for that. Let's head back to Metropolis. The Pharaoh's Palace. That's the only thing left of my home. I might as well check. There's nobody here. Might as well enter. Everything's been destroyed. Who are you? No one's allowed here. Out! Get out! I'll do you then. You dare to resist me. I'll teach you a lesson you will never forget. Really, huh? Alright then, let's see how tough this guy's gonna be. Hopefully it's not as tough as Seto. Um... Alright, what you gotta play? Defense mode, huh? Hmm. What's he hiding under there? Toon alligator, huh? I didn't think he'd have such a wimpy card to start off with. Although its defense was pretty high. I won't deny that. No wait, no no no. I'll summon my dragon zombie first. Invader from another dimension, huh. Yeah, let's play Mountain. Huh, this guy's not so difficult to, de to defeat. Oh, sweet! I can summon my Crimson Sunbird, using these two together. Crimson Sunbird! I don't care if you have the Guardian Star. Crimson Sunbird is pretty powerful. We got twin headed thunder dragon. Nice. What? Was that like his third invader from another dimension? Twin headed thunder dragon, finish the job. attack wolf. Eh, that's not the best monster. You know your cards well, boy. I underestimated you. I underestimated you! Haha, <laughs> Star Fox reference. 
This room, it used to be Simon's room. Let's search. What did I find? Jordan discovers an ancient papyrus. It's a map to the Forbidden Ruins. This map should lead to the Forbidden Ruins. Alright then. Let's take this back to... Uh, Sadden. Head back to King's Valley. Can I be of service? You know, I just noticed uh, a stunning resemblance between him and, uh, uh, what's his name, Shoddy. Makes me, makes me wonder if, if this is like Shoddy's uh, great, great uh, ancestor. Uh, let's give the map to Sadden. So Master Simon did leave behind a clue to the whereabouts of the ruins. Let me see. Right, I know where this is. Please, follow me. Further on, you'll find the room marked on the map. Oh my! Oh! Look at this! That looks like quite the menacing eye above. I've heard stories about this place before. The ancient sorcerers they hid the secrets of their magic within the royal tomb. It's rumored that some of the secrets were passed on to their descendants. So this is the place. There's a drawing on this wall depicting the past. And over there, some kind of map. Uh, let's look at map. This map. There's some kind of mark. That drawing on the wall marks the location of the Millennium Items. And now, it reveals the spots in the temple where Hai Shin has hidden his Millennium Items. The mages will remain powerful as long as the Millennium Items remain in the temples. Providing, they, providing them with a source for their, ma for their magic. You! I follow you here. I've been searching for the forbidden ruins myself. Well, hello, Seto. I also believe that Hashin's found this place as well. Yeah, we saw that at the beginning of the game. With that drawing on the wall to guide him, he discovered the Millennium Items. He may be a mage, but he comes from a line of sorcerers. He plans to find all the Millennium Items so that he may rule over the world one day. And why would Haishin's lackey tell us all this? Why? You'll find out soon enough. But first, let's see what Prince Jordan is capable of. You now know where to find the High Mages. If you're half the card master that you think you are, use your Millennium Item and defeat them. We don't have to listen to you. I'm not talking to you, Tomb Keeper. I speak to your Prince. Farewell. Hold it! I smell a rat. Seto, he's Haishin's white hand man. Why in the world would he want to help you? My prince, I advise caution. There is more to this than meets the eye. Okay, so we saw the map. Let's look at the drawing then. It looks like a drawing of some sort of spell. Could this be the Describing one of the forbidden items? Huh. That drawing wasn't of much help. Let me look at it one more time. Looks like a drawing of an ancient spell. I see two cards. I, s 
Does, is that the pharaoh on the top? I can't tell. Uh, we'll just have to return. Let us return. I sense there may be more secrets hidden within that chamber. My prince, be wary of the vile des designs of Hai Shin and his minions. I will always be here for you if you need me. All you have to do is call on me. Sure thing, Sudden. Okay, the sea shrine. The mountain shrine. Uh, the meadow shrine. The forest shrine and the desert shrine. Wait, what's that? Oh, it just goes back to the King's Valley. Okay. So now we have our... We have we have what we need to do set in stone. We must reobtain the Millennium items as, as uh, Seto told us. But for now, I think this is a good spot to end the episode. So, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Until then, take care. Chaos Control! <laughs>